Malta Massey, bringing you the latest happenings in dancehall and reggae music. Welcome, it's Malta Massey, and here are the stories making the cut for today. If you're not doing then I won't go see of you. Sit down man, we are tired, see who she am you. Who said them ready to surprise them, she and you. Whole moon and don't scare me for you too. Never seen a soul of my death and my fears. Whole moon coming out like complainer. Uh. Every get her, you would work hard and greater. For you have life, you have hope, no breaker. His name is Kibani. He's a versatile artist with a unique voice. This one is called Savior, produced by Bridgestone Music and Mari the producer. His flow and his pitch complement the rhythm. His delivery, the tone of voice, change your mood and you will find yourself a whole of meditation. Enough all we need for whole of meds from time to time. Listen closely to his lyrics. There's knowledge right throughout. A song like this can be enjoyed by everyone everywhere kibani should be commended for a feat like that not every artist can challenge themselves to go against what's popular and try to do something different savior has a positive uplifting message that should be disseminated locally and internationally check out savior by clicking the link in the description box below visit him on instagram at kibani make him no say i'm out of my senior this guy who goes by the name of dope like blaze on tiktok is asking what is wrong with the jamaican djs check out this video yo tell me jamaican dj them how are going eh? a recipe them i lose right me i hear uno i start the party them with skeng skilly bang valiant and them artists there what's happening what's going on they're going to start the... As the sound turn on me, I hear, she like gang, yeah. And the mint bar, she like... But as the party start, yo, what's going on? What's happening? Let me tell you something. As this sound string up, me fear... Yeah. What happened to that? What happened... She doesn't want me around. I damn this song them fear when the song turn on. At the beginning of the party? What? Me and my friends on the NZ, smoking sensei, sipping on some Hennessy, living up, living up. At them they sang if you play when the party start as the sound turn on. We lose our recipes, man. What's going on? What's happening? Well, me have to ask the same question too. It's like them no know about the history. They don't know about the craft. And I feel like they need to. Because if them don't realize what them are doing wrong, the culture got to take a beating once again. But anyways, Massive, do you agree with this gentleman? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Kaka High Flames. Some of you guys may know him already. He's a dancer slash artist. He came up with this routine and he posted it on his Instagram page. I reposted it on my Instagram page as well and most of the comments were not favorable. Not at all. The veteran ghost had this to say about the dance. Fuck with this dance for man. Seems as though he was getting some negative feedback on his page as well because he disabled his comment section. Now Massive, do you think that this dance is appropriate for young guys or not? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Vibes Cartel posted a screenshot of this article. It reads, Vibes Cartel allegedly speaks from behind bars about the state of dance hall. So he captioned that. Hashtag dance hall and everything. So me I got taught my mind. Whether you like it, hate it, or ignore it. A big artist in Jamaica has at least 500k Insta followers and at least 500k YouTube followers. But when he, she releases an album, it's 1,500 to 3,000 copies of first week sales. That simply means the so-called fans aren't supporting the music. But the same people will spend their money to buy foreign songs. 
then complained that dancehall is being outsold by reggaeton and afrobeats the hypocrisy is real brother hashtag dancehall can't stall a choke tell a tell on a busy by other genres but you're not buying jamaican music let me know in the comment section below somebody wrote in the comment section you right but we're a third world country so buying music is not a big thing out here however on a stage show is full when only get booked out here though so we show our support that way etc then vibes cartel responded and say yes true at stage shows but in usa canada and uk we have more than three million jamaicans in the diaspora so even if them no one buy dance hall give reggae more support the coffee protege etc in addition to what vibes cartel is saying i would like to add that the jamaican artists them whether dance hall or otherwise need to make world-class music make music that people all over over the world can love not just jamaicans and those in the diaspora because if we are gonna just rely upon two to three million people they sell with music then we are gonna always get left behind so start think about the over seven billion people in our world and not just the three million jamaicans alone right but anyways that's just me what are your thoughts let me know in the comment section below question massive the dirty money are going with itself not true massive well i have an empress name kuana she's rastafarian and she did her thing on the dirty money redeem remember we not soft like a cushion we tough like a teflon i say iron like a lion in a bumbo clad Zion. Hey, um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me now. Oh, let go me, 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 let go me now. Big up cartel and bounty. Who never quit to bust a little youth from country. Rising star from the Cornwall County. I hear a stuff away and I leave it up highly. It's different from what we're hearing on the Dirty Money Redeem. Conscious lyrics. Full fledged Rasta vibes, adding the balance. Should Russian authorize this track? Let me know in the comment section below. Dancehall artist Aji has released a track for the good girls because apparently majority of the artists them nowadays just sing about the bad bitches. But where are the songs for the good as them for the good girls? Well, check this out. First and foremost, this is not shit to no artist. But when you write a girl song. Remember, see how many different type of girls in the world. Not just the one where you slap in at the markets. Warm to the one in at the college and the office. And ladies, me know sometimes when I feel overshadowed. But I know who them hype today, or who them are going to want tomorrow. Stay solid. Good girl, a good girl, you know that I show. No cap, girl, you know that I you. Miss Malibu, Miss Hollywood, Miss Ed on her shoulder, we go school. Name never call, no no but I yes crew. Nobody can tell us how you run through. Come through, come through. <laughs> Watch it. She still a study, she focus because she never born in a money. She get the bachelor's degree, know where she go fi. The master's a top girl, so she not in a fricky and style her fi can talk it, progress the philosophy. No chop up white can say him take her fi no claffy. How she a aim to the sky where the pinnacle be. If I no add the is a Benz, could I no chill happy girl like you make me happy? Why in your body no slappy? You pretty like money, you fi be me wife only. Build your boutique, now your sales them a skyrocket. Ambition to the moon, you a pilot it. Independent girl. From all over the world, we acknowledge in the world, world, good as in cancer. Take the miggle and wind up your waist, wind up your waistline, wind up your waist. Yeah man, nothing wrong with a balance. You have good girls out there too. And nothing wrong with no bad bitches. But just give us a balance. Not true ladies. Let me know your thoughts about that in the comment section below. Spraga Benz is sending a message to whosoever wants to listen. He posted this video on his Instagram account. Mind you, it might be triggering for some people because of the person in the video. But I won't say anything more. Check this out. Or cash cash will crash you have something now called artificial intelligence very soon this position of a, a human being exchanging cash and so on, that is going to disappear from the banking system very soon and you are going to have to interface with machines i don't want it to be a scary thought but it is a thought that we all have to 
embrace. You see all those people who are working at the airport now that think people need them, you will be replaced. There will be no need for you to be there. <gasps> I know this is really intense. You did not follow the signs and therefore you missed the seven year of prosperity. When the government of Jamaica told you of prosperity, four years, it was true, but now that time of prosperity comes to an end, September the 22nd, and the time of famine and hardship like this world has never known or seen before in the history of humankind, this is what's happened. When people start to see the dead bodies that are piling up they're going to start to retaliate and they have no, they, the lockdown is put in place so you're locked into an area and you cannot leave that area. The Jamaica Constabulary Force JCF is exploring the potential of humanoid robots to assist with administrative tasks. Liz, a robot donated to the University of Technology, Jamaica, has been programmed and tested for various applications. So this little play, this game that you think you're playing, that you'll be able to go in downtown or you go up to Kingston as you have a feel, it is not going to happen. They're going to ban you from traveling and moving and everything else until they have taken away all your liberties. If you don't wake up right now and understand. Imagine now there's no more JPS and no more NWC. And in order for you to get water and food, you have to go and show the mark. They're going to be controlling the water supply and the light. Are you hearing me? I'm happy to report that in the upcoming financial year, the government will make available 10,000 polyethylene water tanks to needs assessed households across Jamaica, starting with a focus on the areas most affected by the drought. Kingston would reach climate departure when its coolest year's average temperature surpasses the average temperature of its hottest year between 1960 and 2005. Johnson Smith emphasized the urgency of staying within the Paris Agreement target of 1.5 degrees Celsius and highlighted Kingston's potential status as the second sitter worldwide to face this phenomenon. Households on path, households recommended by MPs and assessed by the Ministry of Economic Growth and Job Creation will qualify for the tanks according to the rules of the program. All the tanks issues issued will be placed on our national GIS database. This will be a five-year program with the objective that every water-vulnerable household must have storage and rainwater capacities, capabilities to withstand drought and water service disruption. Drought and water service disruption. So, Madam Speaker. Those of you sitting down saying you will wait and see. May I tell you, so you will see it with your eye, but you shall not eat thereafter. You will, at the time then you think you will see to eat of it, you will die. You will die. You will die. You will die. So he captioned that it's what the message is more than who the messenger is. It's the truth of the message that is important. So Massive, what are your thoughts? Have you received the message? And get what Spraga Benz I try if you tell on say. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Massive, I want you guys to check out these clips of Vanessa Bling in France. Check it out. <laughs>
hit song, a hit song. Yell anthem, a yell anthem. And we can't go around it. Big up Vanessa Bling. So that's it for today, Massive Mountain. I big up on a nice, clean self. Enough love, enough respect. Blessings upon blessings upon blessings. Positive vibrations going out to the Massive. I'm out of Massey, Magan. Mount Massey. Mount Massey. Covering the latest in Jamaican music and culture. Like, share, comment, and subscribe now. now. now.